guys, it's Legomatic9, and man, it has been a little while since my last video. I haven't uploaded in like a month and a half to maybe in two months at this point. And I was going to do a whole video talking about, well, one, what I've been doing, two, why have I been absent, and three, all of the FTC and cop uh, garbage that has been going on with uh, channels like mine that are, you know, quote-unquote, made for kids. But I'll save all that for a future video when I have more stuff to actually talk about because now I want to focus on this guy. This is my custom Lego Mandalorian from the TV show The Mandalorian. I wanted to have this guy done when the show came out like four weeks ago, but that just didn't happen. I was way too occupied with school. That has been the reason why I haven't been able to upload anything just because I haven't been home at all in the past two months to record anything and I haven't had time to actually work on anything to show you guys. But now I have this guy. So I wanted to have him done like I said for the premiere but that just didn't happen but now I have them all done now before we talk about this figure in particular I do want to talk about some of the future figures I have planned for the Mandalorian TV show just so you guys don't bombard the comments with suggestions for these guys so you guys know that I'm actually planning on doing them whenever I get to them so I'll get to them probably after uh, the season comes out just because I want to see what these characters do, if I should actually make them, and if there are any others that I want to make uh, for the show. So those consist of, of course, Baby Yoda. We've got the Mandalorian in Beskar armor. The Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, I think, would be really cool. Uh, Cara Dune, IG-11, maybe Grief Karga, maybe Moff Gideon. But that's all if I actually end up really liking those characters. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and focus in on this custom Mandalorian. <laughs> So here we have the Mandalorian. Now I think the Mandalorian is shaping up to be my favorite thing Disney has done with the Star Wars franchise ever since they acquired it. And it's just one of my favorite things in the franchise as a whole. I just absolutely love it. I think the first three episodes are amazing. The fourth episode is just a little slow, but it's definitely not bad. It has a very nice Clone Wars feel to it, and that's what I really, really enjoy. And I just think the Mandalorian character is badass. Now as you guys can see, I did make his set of armor that he wears in the first episode of the series. Uh, and that is just pretty obvious from the brown aesthetic as well as the shoulder pad here, the Shore Trooper shoulder pad that he gets replaced in that episode. When I sculpted this and started painting it, uh, I hadn't seen the series yet. So, you know, I didn't know he was going to get that replaced in the first episode, like halfway through it. So I would have gone back and changed that, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal. But just because I knew I'd be making his full Beskar look later down the road. So you guys have that to look forward to. So the first thing we'll talk about is his blasters. He's got a Brick Arms blaster pistol that has just been painted up in some various colors. We've got some silver, some black wash, and the brown for the handle. And then he's got his rifle, which I do believe is called a Pulse Rifle, if I heard Cara Dune correctly in the most recent episode. Uh, so this is all scratch built. We've got a uh, Brick Arms musket used as a base for the stock, and it ends about right here. And then the whole front end was completely hand sculpted. We've got the scope sculpted on, and then all of the other little details on the receiver part there sculpted on. I painted that in gun metal, added some silver details, and then we've got a black wash, and then some uh, dark brown dry brushing on the stock. And this is also is magnetized, so we can just take it right off of his back. Uh, so there's a little magnet glued in here, and then there's also some gold detail on this side uh, for the scope assembly. And then this can just stick right back onto his back, no problem. So I'm able to put a magnet in the Beskar version if I want, so I can just swap the rifle in between the two, which is probably what I'll end up doing. Other than the rifle and the pistol, we'll go ahead and start talking about the sculpt on this guy. Here's a little side-by-side -side shot of the sculpt that I did. So you guys can just see the sculpt underneath this before I painted it up. Uh, so as you can see, it was fairly complex. Not as complex as Mysterio, I think, which is my most recent heavily sculpted figure other than this guy. Uh, but, I, you know, this guy was definitely a lot of work to get the sculpt right on him. And I can't wait to do the Beskar one because that shape, the shaping on that just looks very cool. So in terms of the details, we'll go ahead and just talk about the legs first. Uh, we can, I don't know if I can zoom in any more down there, but uh, the leg armor, we've just got the, the thighs sculpted on there. Uh, we've got the knee pad sculpted on and the just the shin armor on the other side. We've got a little pouch on this side right here and some straps that are actually glued on to both legs. On that side, he's got all of the canisters for his rifle. Uh, and then we can just uh, turn it around. You can just see that extends onto that side. And then you can see all of just the paintwork done on the legs, uh, which is, you know, fairly obvious, I guess. Moving up to the torso section, we've got the main chest rig that was sculpted on, and then I used cloth elements for the, uh, the bandolier and the belt. 
And then he's got other little details on the bandolier and the belt, such as the little clasp for the strap for the rifle, all of the different canisters, both on the bandolier and on the belt over there. He's got a belt buckle, a little pouch, and then one of his thermal detonator things. I know he's got three of those, but I definitely could not fit three of those on there, and I didn't want to have any on the side, because that would definitely restrict the arm movement even more than it already is. Uh, so I left two of them off and just got one on there. He does have these little side skirts, which are just made out of some uh, like thin vinyl material. So you can see those wrap around the, the sides and to the back, uh, and those are on both sides. All right, there on this side, he does have a little holster non-functioning for his blaster pistol. So you can move that arm just out of the way just a little bit so you guys can see that just a little better. Uh, so there's that. Uh, and then uh, on this torso, like I said, he's got these sculpted chest armor, and then all of the battle damage and stuff was painted on there. On the arms, he's got the shoulder pads both sculpted on there. And this side, he's got the Shore Trooper armor from uh, the Imperial Sh Shore Trooper. Uh, then he's got the gauntlet sculpted on there, painted up. You got the nice cross hatching pattern painted onto the arm, all the different battle damages. He's got the gloves that have uh, are custom painted, and then also have the little sculpt on there for just the little piece of armor he's got on there. Uh, and then this side is pretty pretty similar, but not the exact same. The paintwork on the arm is the same with the cross hatching, but just the armor is just a little different. I can't wait to work on the Beskar version because on that one he's got uh, the whistling birds or whatever they were called, which I thought would be pretty cool to make. And zoom out just a little bit so we can get a clearer shot of the rest of the figure. Now he does have a cloth cape, which was custom made, and that just goes around his neck and wraps around to the back, like I was saying earlier. He does have back armor as well, but that's underneath the cloak, and I can show you guys that if you guys want, but it's, you know, it's just underneath there. It's pretty simple. It's just my standard Mandalorian sculpt uh, that I had on there since, you know, I figured it wouldn't be any different, and you're not going to see it anyway. And then the helmet, I think, is the biggest change from any of my other Mandalorians, just because I decided to go with a uh, carved out visor rather than sculpting on top of it. So it is not as thick as my Django and my Boba Fett. This one's just a lot sleeker, and I really love the shape. And credit to this idea goes to my buddy Will, or the Wolf of Lego. He's done this for his clone troopers in the past, and he's doing it with his Mandalorian. And I thought it would be a great idea to try it out, and I absolutely love the idea. So go check him out. Links will be down in the description to his Instagram and his YouTube. So I carved out the visor, which was a challenge, uh, and then I sculpted on some various details, such as like the earpieces and the sides of the helmet, uh, the fin on the top, and then the little part of his... Uh, the outline for the top of his visor as well. And then I painted it up in a gunmetal color and then washed it in black and added some uh, some dark brown on there as well. But I really, really love how that turned out. I think on my next version, I'm trying to go, I might go for more of like a silver finish rather than a gunmetal, just to make it a little brighter. It won't be super bright, but I think just a little brighter than this might be perfect because this is just a little dark. Uh, but yeah, here's just one more 360 look at the Mandalorian before we go ahead and close off this video. This guy just turned out really awesome. I'm really, really proud of this guy. And I'm just, I'm sad that it took it that long to make. Um, you know, I wish I could have had him out for uh, the premiere so you guys could actually see this armor and be a little more relevant. But uh, yeah, I really, really love how this turned out. Now, one more quick thing. We have to do a little size comparison. I don't have a Baby Yoda made yet, but here is my uh, Return of the Jedi Yoda, and this will be about the same size as my baby Yoda, but there's just a little comparison with the two, and I think that will look really, really nice together once I get around to making baby Yoda, or whatever his name will be. But yeah, that is pretty much it for The Mandalorian. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys for sticking around in my absence. And I was gone for a little while, but... Like I said, man, school is probably my number one concern in life right now, and just getting through this semester has really been a trial, I gotta tell you guys that. It's been not very fun, but I'm excited that I'm on Thanksgiving break right now and was able to get this video out for you guys. So again, thank you guys for sticking around, thank you guys for watching. Uh, in terms of my next Mandalorian figures, I'll have them all out in like a single batch, not like a, a few videos for each one. So those will probably be my first video or my first main project of 2020, just because I want to wait until the season's over to see who I should actually make. But between now and then, I'll be working on Rise of Skywalker figures. I have a few planned for uh, when the movie comes out, if I can get them done by then, uh, which is Rey, Kylo, Poe, Finn, and Lando, I think were the main ones that I wanted to work on. Uh, and then once 
once I see the movie, if I like Janna, I'll make her. If I like Zori Bliss, I'll make her. And then, of course, Emperor Palpatine. That's the big one. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know if I'll have all of those done by the time the movie comes out. And I might just wait until the movie's out and then make all of the ones that I want to make from the movie from after seeing it and then compile it all into one big video. So we'll see. I'll have videos out between now and then explaining what I'll be doing. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys later.